Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Stacia here. Um, today I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me story time. Uh, I feel like, I feel like, I don't know if I share enough about myself on my channel. Of course you guys know I love to dance and I love to um, have debates and talk about stuff. But I wonder if I'm like truly like being transparent and whatnot with my um, subscribers. So, I decided I'm going to tell y'all a personal story, but it's not like <gasps> personal, personal, but it's like personal. <laughs> um, of once upon a time when I was not uh, loving myself in the best way that I sh was supposed to be. So, it's just a story time of, you know, it's always got to do, do with the fuckboy. So, it's a story about a fuckboy. But it was also a lesson to myself, if that makes sense. So, it's kind of personal, but like, it's funny. So, yeah. Um, this thing that I have on, it got a bit cold and not even a bit, it got a lot cold in Austin. So I guess I had to find something to wear because I don't even really like the cold. Anyways, I'm trying to keep this story short so I'm timing myself to 30 minutes. I'm going to try to do it on 30 minutes. I have my timer on. I'm challenging myself today, but you know, I had to go ahead and do my eyebrows first because it was not going to work under 30 minutes with my eyebrows. Yeah, and I'm, it's just a, like a really basic look. Nothing too outrageous. Just going out for drinks. Nothing fancy fancy. So, something simple. And I love simple. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy my story. And then if I finish the story early, I'm just going to continue doing my makeup until um, the video is over. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so you guys, technically in my life, I've only dated once, and that was like in high school, and a lot of times I don't even count that, like, we were in high school, and it was, it was, it was an awkward position, so I don't even count that, so technically, I've only been in one real relationship, which is the one I'm in right now, and like, it's been great, it's been really, really good, but I guess I had to go through the frogs to get to my prince. So this is one of my frog story. So after I uh, dated the, like again, I don't really call it dating, but I'm just say dating for now. After I dated the dude in high school, like y'all, that was it for like three months. I don't know. I don't know. I, that would be a story for a different time. So after I dated him, uh, a friend of mine, she was dating this dude, and they were like, she was dating this dude, and this was like one of their friends. So mind you, I was chilling. I'm on my own. I'm minding my business. I'm not looking for anybody's trouble. And then, uh, that time Instagram was popping. Everybody was on Instagram. Like, people had Instagram. Instagram was hyped then. Not right now. So, one of my pictures on Instagram just starts, starts blowing up, and I'm like, Who's this person that's blowing up my Instagram account? Like, what you want? Come to find out, it was this dude that um, was friends with my friend and her boyfriend. And so, the thing is, I had gone to one of my other friend's church. And he went to that church too, so I guess that was where he saw me. So, like, I, I peeped that, you know, homeboy was blowing up my page. And I was like, okay, what's, 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 what's going on? But, you know, I just left it alone. And then, I think, like, a few days later, my friend who had the boyfriend was like, Hey, um, this dude is trying to talk to you because, you know, he knows my boyfriend. And my boyfriend told me he's trying to talk to you, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I'm like, okay, cool, 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 you know. I was, I was in high school, you know. I was trying to flex on these niggas. Not really. But anyways, Wow. This is looking like hella hella bright. Is this my color? Oh my god. Did Mac lie to me? Yeah, I promise I'm going to blend it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now, but I'm going to blend it. But, um, so after she told me that, and I think I was like, damn, yo, I was like a senior. So, like, look how long it took me to realize this about myself. That's wild. So, hold on, y'all. So they end up having some kind of like group gathering or something, like friends hangout or whatever, and they invited me. So, you know, I went, 
saw the dude, we chilled, we talked, you know, like I knew, they already told me he was interested in me, so I wasn't like, it wasn't like, oh, I was forcing anything, I was just being polite and being like, okay, we can talk and you can tell me what's really up, right? Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make this 30 minutes. <laughs> oh my God. Uh. Okay, so after homeboy gets my number and all that, you know, I'm like, okay, boom, like, and he was Nigerian, so I was like, uh, Nigerian men are like, I don't know what to call them. So I was like, okay, you know what, this is my, gonna be my little African boo, whatever, we're gonna start talking, or talking, the talking stage was like, up back then. So I was like, okay, bet. Mind you, I'm working at Chick-fil-A, I work nights. I'm captain of the brigade team, so I gotta be up at like 6 a.m. to go to campus. So I'm working whenever when I close, I leave work at like 12 a.m. and I have to be up. Actually, I had to be on campus at like 6:45, and the buses came at like 6:15. So I really had to be up at 5:30. So imagine someone who didn't get home till 12:30 having to be up at 5:30. Like, yo, know, I'm telling you, I just did not love myself. Like. And I'm even thinking about it. What the hell was going on in my head? So anyways, I would like make these trips that after work I'll go. Oh, my parents watch this in chat. After work I'll go chill at this human being spot. Now that I think about it, where was his mother? His mother was never home. It was just him and his sister. Like, did she leave the house for y'all? Anyways, that was where, that is where I'll be. 1 a.m. Instead of me to go home, I'm going to get the sleep that I need. To wake up the next day and do the things I'll be doing. <laughs> Anyways, so like that's how I'll be always going to his spot, sacrificing my time because I'm trying to spend time with him. Mind you, we're not even dating. Like now I think about it, I'm like, what what the hell was wrong with me? You weren't dating this human being and you felt obligated to give him your time. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It's like that. That constant battle with knowing what your self-worth is, right? So, I started, you know, just <sighs> doing all this shit for this dude. But then on the flip side, come to find out, okay, whenever we're... Because we all hang out. We all hung out together. Like, we're a big, mini big friend group. So, we'll go do things together, go to the movies together, meet up together, whatever. But it always seemed like every single time people were there or were in public, this dude would just be fashioning me like you just be ignoring me like do you know who I am like <laughs> do you know who I am though I mean now I know but like he obviously did not know who I am because anyways this dude would just be ignoring me I'll be feeling like I'll be feeling like um like I was unwanted or I was just bothering him or being a bother like I just be like why am I here right but stupid meal I'll come back every other time every single time to repeat the same stupid ass process so and the thing what made me mad was like it wasn't to a point where oh he was slickly doing this it was to a point where like people were noticing like like aren't y'all supposed to be talking like you know shit was just not adding up and so, like, what really took me out, or, like, what really just, like, flipped me off or, like, took me over the edge was, I think this one time, I ended up going with my friend who's dating his friend, and we just went out. I think, I don't think we planned to meet up. I think we literally just happened to be in the same place. Like, me and her pulled up, I mean, me and she, me and her pulled up, and then we t turns out her boyfriend and the dude I'm talking to was there. Okay, cool that's that's fine and all and again it wasn't planned so like I had another of my friend with me we all we only went to go like buy something that was all we went there to do and we just ran into him okay cool um you know that's her boyfriend she went to go say hey whatever all of that and I understand we're not dating but you can't open your mouth to just say hi like that doesn't make any fucking sense you cannot open your mouth open your mouth to say hi hello whatever <laughs> y'all so I was like, okay, I'm a, at, like, at this point, I think I was at the point where I was like, I'm just over it, right? So I'm just like, okay, no wahala, um, 
I, you're not you're not really adding anything to my life so whatever it's fine and then my friend who was with me like I said it wasn't planned so I didn't plan to see them there my friend was like isn't that supposed to be the dude that you're talking to I was like my sister yes that's supposed to be the dude that we're talking to I'm I'm talking to but as you can see like look how I was acting like even she like the fact that she pointed it out and she like she was like the fact that she noticed it and she's not even like that was her first impression or her first time meeting this person and she could just see that i was like what the f what what what's going on and i don't i just don't know why after all of this i didn't sit back and realize yo this is not good for you or this boy does not respect you or really even care about you because if he cared about you you would not be disrespecting you like this in public like so like again like i said this is a personal story like kind of me growing as a person um so like after that time like literally after she made that comment and like the thing is i wasn't even thinking about it before she made the comment but then when she made the comment i was like hmm she makes sense like how can you sit here and say oh you're talking to me or you're trying to like because after the talking it will be a relationship you're trying to get in a relationship with me and you run into me outside and you can't acknowledge my presence like does that make any sense no it does not so i think that kind of like stuck with me and the thing is afterwards when i like started giving him the same energy that he was giving me he started complaining about it i was like what on earth is this man like sick in the head because he he definitely had to be for him to complain oh y'all my contact shifted Ooh, can't be fighting too hard hard <laughs> y'all so like it came to the point where he was like oh why am i doing that and then you know my friends also started getting on him like they're like oh isn't that how you like what you do whenever like isn't she just giving you the same energy that you be giving her and he he kept on saying yo this is where this is how you catch him he kept on saying okay but do you guys know what we do when we're in private why are you treating somebody in a different and pri by private he means those nights i'll be leaving work I mean, <laughs> it's not even like he was making any sacrifices i was the one leaving work to come <sighs> anyways so like i was like first of all why are you out here bragging about what you do in private when obviously nobody gives a fuck about that like nobody is asking you about your private life all i'm saying is you still got to show respect in public I, I like what are you trying to say do if you act right in private that should cancel out you acting stupid in public like his mentality just did not make any sense to me like what are you saying sir anyways so he ends up saying shit like that and i'm just like yeah nigga, you got to go you literally got to go but y'all see this is where i'm this is this is what i'm i'm saying like i just i knew he had to go but something in me was just not letting me let him go like i just i don't understand what it was or what it wasn't but i was just literally holding on to this dude like like he mattered or something like girl he did not value your time did not respect your presence i should have been gone like i literally should have ran out the door ran out <laughs> y'all don't take me serious i literally should have been gone but like i needed to grow man i literally i needed to grow as a person because y'all where i was before it was terrible so anyways this one day you know Every single time I always forget about the bullshit he's done and wait for him to do another bullshit. <sighs> Y'all, this time I got up school early. I think, yeah, I think I was done with school early. And so I brought us lunch. I was like, okay, let me uh, go give this human being lunch. A whole me in high school, give somebody that is in college. Went to go and buy. Okay, I'm just kidding. I just I went. I just went to go get him lunch. I wasn't giving him money. <laughs> um, but never mind. Um, uh, so yeah, man, extra, extra. Everything is going bake. So, anyways, I end up uh, buying him lunch and driving to his place. And I, I, when I get there, I see oh, he's playing soccer. I'm like, okay, okay, cool, no, no problem. 
I can wait because I didn't tell him I was coming or whatever. Y'all, my dumb ass, at that, because at that point I was still dumb. I was still, still dumb. My dumb ass sits in this car. Okay, I was going to say in the hot sun, but I don't think it was. Was it? I want to say that was football season. So I don't think it was hot. I think it was during the cooler period. So anyways, I'm sitting in this car, like, literally waiting. So, like, okay, I understand you're playing soccer with your boys, but y'all are not in a Champions League game. You can pause, come say hi, get the fucking food I got for you, and be on your way. Like, there was no reason I had to sit there and wait for so long, y'all. I promise y'all I was waiting for so long. Like, I wouldn't even exaggerate it. I was... I was waiting for such a long time and it got to the point where my friends came over like my friend came over to his place and um, she was like what are you doing here and I was like I'm trying to give this human being food but he's had me waiting for so long and she tried to talk to him to like come respond to me or like come get the food out of my fucking hand and he was just like yeah leave me alone I'm busy right now and I blah 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 Yeah, I think that was the time. That was the first time I was like, I don't, I can't be with this kind of person. Like, there's no way. Like, we're not even together yet. This is, this is you doing, this is me, uh, elimination round. Elimination round, and you're, you're acting this way. Like, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I say, I don't know. I don't know what Brooks along the way. I don't know what it is. I don't know why you feel like. Because at this point, he had showed me all the signs that I needed to know that this human being was clearly a fraud and I was just not paying attention to the signs like what was wrong with me and yeah that comes from a, self, a place of where you're just not trusting yourself or you're not believing in yourself and you just want you feel like you need to latch onto someone to you know give you all this comfort and God and hold you and whatever but you have to get to the point where you realize that if no one else got you like you got you like I got me so I didn't need some human being who was making me feel bad or making me wait or making me question like I did not need someone like that in my life like there was I don't there was no reason for me to keep holding on to this thing that was only detrimental to my health like <laughs> I'm sorry but y'all get on trying to I don't want to be serious serious that's why I'm like trying to joke around with it but yes, it just it made me realize that, yo, you don't need a nigga, like, especially, especially if it's like, I don't want to say in the, in the, I'm not trying to say, oh, nobody should get, I'm in a very loving relationship, I have a boyfriend, <laughs> please don't say I'm telling you to not date anybody, but I'm saying, if you ever get to that point where you feel like, you feel like you're losing yourself because you're trying to hold on to a, a dude or you're losing yourself because you're trying to get the certain dude or you're trying to please this dude or you're trying to get this thing that you you've planned in your head or oh, he's going to change or or he's just it's just mistakes if you're if you feel like you're losing yourself in that process that person is not for you that person you can do without that person like I guarantee you that person does not have a place in your life and if you try to make a place for him you're going to just destroy yourself because ah if somebody is already intact and you want to come and put something else in the inside and you're not supposed to go there how is it going to, how is it going to go there? <laughs> y'all <Yo. laughs> okay but I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say like always know that you got yourself don't let anyone ever treat you less than you're supposed to be treated no don't want don't let anyone ever take you for granted or make you feel unwanted. Like, that is not okay. That's not nice at all. So, yeah. Um, that's the end of my story. Quick moral of the story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just going to finish my face now. I think I have, like, what? Ooh, I have, like, ten minutes. All I gotta do is a lot. So, if you just want to see me finish my face, keep watching. I'm gonna have some music in the background. Um, and yeah, enjoy. I hope you guys love my story. I'm going to be back with my final face.
I mean, it's not like popping, popping like I had in my head. But I think it would do. Yeah, it has to because I'm tired. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. This, ooh, ooh. I did not add mascara to my lashes. Um, disrespectful much. Every single time I find some way to put makeup on my fucking contact. I think I'm just gonna be half blind for the rest of the night. mascara on my contact. How? I gave up. No, I literally gave up. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my story and my lesson that I learned. I hope it can be applied to somebody out there. Um, I hope you like my look. I don't even know I'm blind in one eye, so I can't even evaluate the look well. But I hope you guys like it. Um, yeah. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, share, subscribe, and share, subscribe. Okay, never mind. Um, I'll see you guys next time on Station Speaks. Bye.